Hi, my name is Jason from So The Land and we just got our 30 meat chickens, more 30 meat chickens. All right, so we got more baby chicks. These are more meat chickens. Uh, we're gonna be putting these guys in our freezer and these are Freedom Rangers from Freedom Ranger Hatchery. We have a total of 70, I don't know, I lost count at 30. I think about 75 chickens, but Bernice. So with our chickens and our pigs, it brings a whole other level of farm chores. Bernice, good morning Bernice. Ducks. <laughs> Whole Foods. All right, so let's check on our new egg layers. We had a whole fancy setup here with tarps and chicken tractors. <laughs> let's see how they're doing. What's up, guys? You guys, all right? These guys are almost three weeks old now. They're looking a lot bigger. They're getting their feathers out. All right, so I think these guys are ready to, to get out. We need to move them. Hopefully soon we can bring those chickens out or move them out here into another chicken tractor because we need to bring those other 30 meat chickens out here under the heat lamp. Hey brothers, I'm coming. How you guys doing? Hold on. All right, so in the previous videos, we moved them out here, back in here, because we needed to be more mindful. Uh, I need to really think about how we're gonna rotate these pigs. We're on one and a half acres, and I don't want a big, muddy mess. I don't know how realistic that is, but we'll see. And I want these pigs to work for us. That's why we have them here. We're making compost. I don't want them just to sit around in a big mud pit. But I don't know. I've never done it before, so. Let's see how much water they have. They could use some more water in there. But I'm not in a terrible hurry of putting them out on grass on that hill because we still have about three or four months with these guys before we put them in our freezer. And I only have so much space that I can actually move them. This water tower has been coming in extreme handy. I didn't realize how much we would use it, but with this pig shelter right here and that right next to it, man, I wouldn't be able to do this without it. All right, I need to feed these meat birds. What are you doing? Planting my peppers. Peppers? peppers. These peppers? Yeah. So are we moving those chickens out there? Today's gonna be a nice warm day. Um, I think we can move these meat birds to grass. They're dying for grass right now. Like they are just like, get me out of here, get me on grass. Yeah. But I don't, I, I think that they might still need a heat lamp on them at night. I mean, not maybe not tonight, but 
uh, they need a heat lamp on them. Yeah. But we need to get them on grass. But what about the ones in the house? <laughs> if it was up to me, I, they would have been out a long time ago. <laughs> um, we need to move those guys out too. Yeah, but I mean, I was fine shutting the door last night. <laughs> <laughs> They're a little bit too loud. <laughs> or I think, you know, constantly hearing uh, chicken noises kind of makes it a little crazy. Yes, <laughs> and then having them in the living room makes me crazy because I like to have like a neat and orderly, somewhat clean house and there's just yeah. chickens in my living room. Yeah, they won't need that one. Okay, though, is a piece of this? We had some 28 degree nights. All right, they're fighting over this grass. <laughs> they love, or well, actually they're craving the grass. So we have a heavy bedding, a straw. There's an opening down there, they're all getting out. They really want this grass. So the other little chicken tractor with the tarp over it with the heat lamp. I think we can move it. Oh, they're trying to escape. Whoa, he's gonna lay an egg. Bernice, do you want to be a mama, Bernice? Yeah, she said yeah. <laughs> well, here you go. Oh. Let's see what Bernice does. Bernice? Bernice? You gonna keep these chickens warm, Bernice? Can you put this in there? What do you think, Bernice? Don't fly, no! Put it back in, put it back in! No, she don't wanna be in there. She don't wanna be in there. She don't wanna be a mama. <laughs> She wants the food. She came out for the food. So we need to bring down the other chicken tractor. These Freedom Rangers are about week a week old. So a neighbor let us borrow this heat plate. I guess it mimics mother hen. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. So the chickens will go under here and then this will heat up. And so they're protected by this because they're all underneath here and then it heats up. It's like a hot plate. It's probably a lot safer than that. But. I added this water. This has this is the nipple drinker water that I typically use for my meat chickens. So I like to add it in here. And the trick is to use those things while they're still young. I like to put it in here. It has water in there. And then uh, I'll just hang it here for now. 
Not sure if they'll use it. We'll still have their other water and we'll just that leave that here just so they can get used to that water because I really want them to use that. All right, so this is our baby chick brooding setup that we house 75 chickens. There's a couple of times where it's down to 28 degrees. I mean, this is what we have, you know, we're just trying to make it work and it doesn't have to be super nice. You know, like we're using tarps still, some old scrap tin. And to be honest, it is a little nerve wracking, right? They're outside. It's not completely covered in here. Not like a regular chicken coop. Now when we do this more in the summer months, it's definitely less nerve wracking. Even though it might get down to the 50s in the summer, that's still okay, I feel. I think it's important to have the chickens on grass as soon as possible. I'm not sure if I would recommend it <laughs> because there's a little bit of uh, monitoring and, and really checking, you have to check the weather, make sure it's not crazy windy or super wet out, you know, or, or, or really cold, you don't want it to snow. Now I guess we could house all the chickens in here if we wanted to, but man, these corners cross meat birds, they're bullies. I kind of think that they'll eat the egg layers. <laughs> like, they're like crazy. These are our Freedom Rangers in here. And then in here, we got our egg layers. What's up, Bernice? And Fuzzy Muggins, Gilbert Blythe's in there. Almost ready to put these ones out on grass there with that chicken tractor. In six weeks, these Cornish Cross chickens will be put in our freezer. This is our straw that we had in the bedding over there for the chickens and we're gonna put them on our potatoes right now. And that's so we could hill up the potatoes uh, instead of using the dirt. We have some potatoes growing, popping up already here. And yeah, this is a whole row of potatoes. All right, so it's late afternoon. I usually been feeding the pigs our food scraps towards the evening, I guess for dinner. Hey brothers, hey brothers. What's happening? There you go. All right, so we're having some leftover chili beans. Yes, it's like chili beans with some homemade cornbread and sauerkraut and horseradish. Let's see that horseradish. It smells very strong. All right, so the other day we dug up our first horseradish ever. So we planted this a year ago. Yeah, it was one year ago. Yeah. And I didn't think, look at how much it's grown in a whole year. Like that's massive. I actually didn't think it was gonna be so deep either. I think I planted it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Woo! <laughs> Our first horseradish. That's a good size. Like, I mean, at the grocery store, that's probably gonna be like $20. And this horseradish is what we put, well, one of the ingredients that is what we put in our fire cider. And then now, so how do we prepare this? You just stuck it in a blender? Um, I did a food processor and then I added a little, this was like, I don't know, some, I made this up, <laughs> sort of. Um, I added a little bit of um, fermented sauerkraut juice, and then I added apple cider vinegar, and that the vinegar is supposed to be what makes it hot. So that's pretty much all that's in there. Oh, and yeah. onion, and onion and garlic is in there too. It smells like horseradish. All right, so let's try this horseradish. Mm. I don't know if I want that much. It tastes oh, really good. good. I mean, that, that's what I need right there. <laughs> All right, just had dinner. We're out doing our evening chores. And they're using that wa nipple water? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just saw them. Wow. No food for you today. I have no food for you right now. They like that. Hey, they're 
popping in and out of there. Like you see their heads like pop out out of nowhere. Oh.